Alright, yo, what is going on guys, Tony or Shelby here today, and I am bringing you my initial thoughts about Call of Duty World War II so far. I've played it for about an, about two hours now, about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, this is my best match so far, so I'm just going to have this in the background as gameplay. Um, and this is just honestly a live comp, so if I'm like saying um a lot or like a lot, that's why I'm just... Cut doing this all in one take, um, no face cam obviously, so you guys can enjoy the full gameplay experience here. Um, in case you don't have the beta, you can just enjoy watching uh, one of my better games so far. I'm going to be sitting here talking about a little bit of my gameplay and a little bit of what I like about World War II during the beta process and what I would like to see change for the full game. Obviously, this is the first day of the beta, they released it a day early, um, so I'm not... I'm not gonna like, obviously the things I'm bashing on now is going to be things that will most likely change. I mean, we have this beta weekend for PS4 only, next beta weekend is for everyone, Xbox One, PC, PS4, I don't know if PC actually gets it this weekend or next weekend, I, I can't remember. We PS4 players, we get it this weekend and next weekend, so they'll probably change some bugs and some fixes and balance some things for next weekend. And then hopefully when the game comes out, most things will be balanced. Probably won't be because that's how most Call of Duty's go. Most games go like that, to be honest, most of the time. But um, a few things that I noticed about this game when I was playing it is the biggest thing is the aim assist. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this or is because I'm just fucking horrible at the game. But I, um, I've experienced like the aim assist feels a lot weaker than previous Call of Duties. The best way I can explain it is... Say you're running around on Black Ops 3 with a Locust trying to quickscope. That's what the aim assist feels like all the time on this game for me for some reason. I might just not have my shot on the game yet. I don't know exactly how to play it exactly. So it might just be me. Maybe it is a balance issue that they do have to fix in the future. But that's the biggest complaint I have right now is the aim assist um, being too weak. I know some people are like, aim assist, ew, what's wrong with you? But that's usually PC players, because there's never aim assist on PC. Um, us console players, we, we use aim assist. I don't know what else to say. I go on PC and I try to play Call of Duty, and I'm absolute trash. So, that's that's like the biggest thing. Um, another thing is, you'll see throughout the gameplay when I pull up the scoreboard, I don't, like right there, I don't really like how much it covers. And on top of that, it puts a really small tint on the rest of the game when you open the scoreboard. And it has like the teams on each side and their logos and it just it just feels really wonky and big for a scoreboard for call of duty i don't know if it's just me um i just feel like back it was more simpler on the older call of duties didn't take up as much um much of your screen i mean it's not that big of a deal because most people aren't opening their scoreboard like they're not running around with their scoreboard open playing the whole match like that i mean i open mine quite often to see my kill death ratio and stuff like that because i'm I like to just make sure I'm doing good, and if I'm not, I make sure I leave the game. I've already rage quit a good amount of games on uh, World War II already, but um, if you watch my channel regularly, you know I, I'm very easily agitated with gaming. I've always been ever since I was little and been playing video games since I was like two years old. Um, it's just how I've always been, it's how I grew up. I just I get very agitated very fast. And video games and stuff does not go my way. Um, but as you can see in the gameplay, PPSH is amazing, and you can actually get it before you're even level 2. I unlocked it halfway through level 1. I played, I joined a match late, and I played through it, and I left with a, uh, a token, and I was able to unlock the PPSH right off the bat. So, a PPSH is pretty much just as good as it was back in World of War. Uh, I would say the World of War one was still a little bit better. I don't know. I feel like they... I feel like they made it a, not as good in this game for some reason, but um, that's just me. Like I said, these are my experiences, what my knowledge of the game, um, my first impressions, and stuff like that. So if you agree with me, that's cool. If you don't agree with me, that's also cool. It's just the beta stage. Things are subject to change for sure for when the full game comes out. Um, if you guys don't already know, the beta is only multiplayer, there's nothing about campaign, there's not like one mission you can try for campaign, there's not like, you can go on zombies and test zombies at all or anything, like you have to wait for the full game to come out to play either one of those. But um, so far the beta has been pretty fun, kind of rage inducing for me just because I don't like to um, accept the fact I'm bad at Call of Duty, I like to at least think I'm average at most Call of Duties. Um, if not good, like Black Ops 3, I'd say I'm good. Infinite Warfare, oh no, I said Infinite Warfare, everyone just hit dislike now. 
Um, but if it were fair, I would say I'm average because I, I'm literally level 40 on that game. I played it for like two weeks after it came out and I don't think I've touched it since. At least multiplayer. I play zombies here and there on it. Um, just because, you know, just to change up the zombies um, vibes. So I go on that game and play it a little bit. But I don't know what the level cap is on World War II's beta. They'll probably up it because people are going to hit it and stuff like that. I remember... And um, Black Ops 3, uh, I hit the cap, like, and then they changed it, and they upped it, and they upped it, like, three times till it was, like, level 50, or, like, it was actually the whole first, like, level 55 level. I don't remember what they did, but eventually they got up to, like, really high level, maybe, like, in the 40s or something, and I, I capped, I capped it, I literally got to the, um, level max in the beta, so... I, I, I might, and I'll probably hit it in this one too. The only crappy thing is I'm working like all weekend this week, and next weekend I work and have plans, I'm sure. So I can't play it as much as I played the Black Ops 3 beta, Infinite Warfare beta. I played a good amount of too, but um, I'm hoping I can release at least one more video during this weekend, and then two videos next weekend. Obviously, this isn't my normal video. I'm not, I usually don't sit down with gameplay in the background uh, with me just talking in a live comp over it. But I felt like that'd be the best way to talk about World War II and how I feel about it and whether I like it or don't like it. Which, for the most part, I do like it. They do need some balance changes. I feel like as soon as someone looks at you, you get dropped to the ground and you're dead. I feel like you get melted very fast in this game. Which, I don't remember if World of War was like that, honestly. I remember Ghost, you, literally someone looked at you and you were dead because they melted you just so fast. It was ridiculous. But, um... It's getting end, towards the end of the gameplay. I think there's another like minute that I can talk here. So I want to kind of try and wrap things up for you guys. Um, if you guys didn't pre-order the beta, I'm sure they'll open it up to the public next weekend. So you might have to wait a week and just watch people play it and shit like that. But um, if they do open it up, definitely download it and play it because it actually is worth it. And if you miss the boots on the ground, World War II, like the origins of Call of Duty you will enjoy this game. I enjoy it. I still like the modern Call of Duties, more like Modern Warfares and stuff like that. Black Ops 3 is amazing. Black Ops 2 is kind of modern, not too far into the future. I like those kind of Call of Duties. They're kind of modern. Um, but, I mean, the ones in the past, like th this one and like World of War were pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap things up here. Um, right here, I actually got like a triple kill. I was really proud of myself. That's another thing. They need to change the final kill cam because the final kill cam isn't the final kill cam. It's the best play from the top player it's really weird i don't like how it is even though i got showcased here i'd rather it be the actual final kill because that's going to mess up trick shotters and trick shotting as a whole but anyway i'm going to go leave a like comment subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys